Hello guys and welcome to Computer Coder. Subscribe to Computer Coder for more coding updates. This is Python programming series day 2. And here is an agenda. Today we are going to see about interactive mode in Python and scripting mode in Python, commands in Python and input output statements in Python. Interactive mode. In interactive mode, the code can be directly typed and the interpreter will display the result immediately. Working with interactive mode is more convenient for beginners. But in interactive mode, we can't save the code for later use. In order to save the code for later use, we go into script mode. Script mode. Basically, a script is a text file containing Python code. Python script have the extension .py. We can see about interactive mode and script mode later. Commands in Python. A command is a statement containing information for the person reading the program. Generally, they have no effect on programming result. In Python, command starts with hash symbol. Here is an example for Python command. There is an another way of writing commands using triple single quotes or triple double quotes. Actually, it is a string data type in the Python. Here is an example for multiline command. Input and output functions in Python. A program need to interact with the user to accomplish the desired task. This can be achieved by input and output function. Input function. The input function helps to enter the data at runtime by the user. In order to get numbers or expression from the user, we use evolve function. Evolve is a function takes a string and returns an expression. Output function. The print function is used to display the result. Okay, first let us open Python IDLE. Click on start and search for Python 3.7 and double click on IDLE. And it should open Python IDLE. Let me reset. Okay. Here you can see that Python version is displayed in the first line. And in second line you can see help, copyright, credits and license. Let us type and see the habit command. Help should have parentheses. Help is a keyword in the Python. Ideally, it will return the description of modules, keywords, or uh, symbols. Press Q to exit. Also, copyright. This is the copyright for Python 3. Okay, now we can open a new script mode. Click on file and new file. It will open a new script mode. Under the shell, you can see the restart the shell. It will restart the Python shell. You can see previous history and next history. Previous history will bring you the previous command you type and next history will bring you the next command where in the present command. Okay, let us write some code in Python script mode. Print is a keyword to display the content. You can write hello world and remote to run and run module. For running a Python script, we must save the script. I will save my Python script in my Python folder on the desktop and execute it now it is printed now coming on to interactive mode interactive mode will return the commands then and there here you can see a decimal number floating number complex number collections strings even expressions but this is impossible in scripting mode we need to use print keyword to print the content from scripting mode. We got it. Python commands begin with hash symbol and Python commands doesn't make any change to the output. If we print the Python command, it will be printed in the console. Input function. Input is the input function of Python. Let us write an input function and execute the program. You can see here a pointer is waiting for the input. Let us write something like um, hello this is computer coder and you can see that um, statement is completed. Input in the interactive mode will return input given. We can pass the input requesting statement within the, within the parenthesis of input statement. Now within the input statement we can give enter something and, and the output is like this and it, and it will be requesting like this. We can give input now. As we all seen until now, input statement will get the input as string. In order to convert a string into an expression, we need a special function called 
evolution eval is a function called evolution used to convert strings into an expression we can give input function within an evolve function actually what has happens here is the input is caught from the console and is converted into an expression using a evolve function evolve function only converts strings to expressions it doesn't freely take the expressions 